So we've talked about modeling scenarios with differential equations. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a question, a typical exam style question. What I want you to do is read the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then come back and check your answer with the working I'm going to show you. So the question is quite simply, a boy trying to collect 500 football stickers for an album. The size of his collection, y, which is x days after he started collecting, can be modelled by this differential equation here. I want you to express y explicitly as a function of x, given that when x is 1, y is 10, and k is equal to 0 0.00012. If the boy can then send away for the last 50 stickers, after how many days can he do this according to the model? So pause the video and have a crack at this one. So let's start by thinking about how to solve this and write it in terms of x and y explicitly. So I want to e express y explicitly as a function of x. So the first thing I've got to do is take this and separate the variables onto each side. So what I want to do is rewrite it as dy over y brackets 500 minus y equals k dx. And I know then that the integral of both sides is the equivalent to each other. Now, look at this side here. I've got y bracket 500 minus y, and I've only got a constant on the top. That there, again, should give you a shout and make you think partial fractions. Use the technique we covered way back in the very first block of work we did to separate them up. What I'll end up getting is I can write it as 1 over 500 times the integral of 1 over y plus 1 over 500 minus y dy and that equals the integral of k dx. Integrate both sides of this what I'll end up getting is I get 1 over 500 times, and I'm going to keep this outside and integrate this part on its own ln of y plus well, plus, and it's going to be negative, so I'm just going to change it to a minus here now, actually. Minus ln of 500 minus y, close the bracket, equals kx plus c. So that's what I've got there. What I'm going to do is take this 500 across now, and then I'm going to sort this bit here using the rules of logarithms. So I'll end up with ln of y over 500 minus y, equals 500k x. Now it's going to be plus 500 times a c, but I'm just going to write that as plus a new constant, d. Because 500c, well we don't know what c is, again it's some sort of generic constant, so I can write it in that manner there. Now I've got to get rid of the logarithm, ln. So if I do that, what I'll end up getting is that y over 500 minus y equals e to the power of 500 kx plus my new constant d. Now again, use our rules of exponentials to split this up. Gives me e to the 500 kx times e to the d. So what I know then is this left hand side is equal to a e to the 500 kx. So I've got y over 500 minus y equals a e to the 500 k x. What I can then do is take the 500 minus y over and then look to separate my x's and y's onto their corresponding sides. So I can rewrite it then as y equals a e to the 500 k x times 500 minus y. Now if I were to multiply out this bracket here and take the y's across to this side, what I'd end up getting is y plus y a e to the 500 kx equals 500 a e to the kx here. Take y out as a common factor and then stick it back across here on the bottom. What I'll end up getting is that y equals 500 a e to the kx over 1 plus a e to the 500 k x there. 
Firstly, a couple of wee quick things to notice. Well, first off, I've actually missed out the 500 as a power, so there we go. The A's here, I can't just turn into a separate constant here on the top because this is AE to the 500KX and this is AE to the 500KX. These A's have to be the same. So I have to keep them in that manner. What I also know is I know the value for K. So what I'm going to do is substitute that value in. So I know the value for K is equal to 0 0.00012. So what I can then get is that Y it was 500 A E, and I'm going to end up with 500 times K. So what that will end up giving me is 0 0.06 X over 1 plus A E to the 0 0.06 X on the bottom. So now that I've got it written like that, what I have to do is answer the second part of the question. What I need to figure out first is what the A is. Now I know that on day one, the boy had 10 stickers. So I know that for day one, X was equal to one, and Y, my number of stickers, was equal to 10. So if I substitute them in here, I'll be able to find my value for A. What I know is that 10 equals 500 A, E to the power of 0 0.66, over 1 plus a, e to the power of 0 0.06. So if I then take both of those values there, work them through, and find out what my value for a is, what I'll end up getting is that a equals e to the power of negative 0 0.06 over 49. So that there is my value for A. So what I can then do is substitute that into this general solution here and get an equation for Y with the A constant missing. So if I substitute this into here and do a bit of algebra to simplify it down, what I'll end up getting is an equation that states that Y equals 500 e to the power of 0 0.06 bracket x minus 1 on the numerator over 49 plus 500 e to the power of 0 0.06 x minus 1 on the denominator. So what we now have to wonder is when can he send away for the rest of the stickers. Now we know he can send away for the last 50 stickers. So in order to do that, what we need to know is what x is when y is equal to 450. So if y equals 450, what I'm going to do is substitute into here, solve it, and find my solution for when we get that. But there's a catch. This here is not a fun looking equation to work with. However, if I think back to an earlier equation that I had in this question, I had y over 500 minus y equals a e to the 500 kx. Now I know the value for k and I know the value for a in this one here. So what I can do is I can actually go back and use this equation here in order to solve to find x. Now, point to note, we could still use this equation if we wanted to and if we're feeling a bit fancy with our algebra, this here just makes it a heck of a lot easier for me. So what I can do at this stage is substitute in all the values that I know. So I'll make this 450 over 500 take away 450 equals and substituting the values from my a and my k e to the negative 0 0.06 over y times e to the power of 0 0.06 x. Now 
450 over 500 minus 450, so that's 450 over negative 50. So what I can then do is simplify that, and I've got my 49, which should be 49 there on the bottom, and I can take it up and multiply it. What I'll end up getting from that is the e to the 0 0.06 bracket x minus 1, because I'm going to use my rules of exponentials to simplify this top here, will end up giving me 9 times 49, which will then be equal to 441. So solving this, I can then say that 0 0.06 bracket x minus 1 is equal to ln of 441. And then rearrange all this to solve it so that eventually I can get the x equals the ln of 441 over the 0 0.06 add 1. And this is the kind of calculation we can just simply plug into a calculator and see what we get. What we end up then getting is 102 to 2 significant figures. 23 significant figures. So what that means is that after 102 days the boy can send off. This kind of question does require a lot of work and a lot of thinking and it will test your algebra skills as you've just seen with some of the lines of working that I've had to do there. But it's also worth it in the payoff. This kind of question could be worth a fair few marks in an exam. So if you can understand how to model these equations and work through the algebra, what you'll be able to do is secure yourself a good portion of marks based on one question with a few parts. So it's important that we know how to do this because this application here could get us a good showing in an exam and be able to help us on our way to achieving what we know we can and what we want to get.